What is insulin resistance? Insulin resistance isn't the newest rebel group in town. <laughs> nor is it a CrossFit training exercise, but it is important to understand what exactly insulin resistance is when it comes to diabetes. The main organ involved in the development of diabetes is the pancreas. This is a corn on the cob shaped gland that sits snug against the liver, right behind the stomach. The pancreas lowers blood sugar by producing a hormone called insulin. Insulin is made by very specialized cells that react to blood sugar levels. If blood sugar levels increase after eating a meal, insulin secretion rises accordingly in order to keep sugar levels steady. Sugar decreases due to long periods of starvation or exercise insulin levels fall. This insulin sugar balance system is extremely well organized, like a healthy economy. At any given moment, the perfect amount of insulin is produced to maintain blood sugar levels within the normal range. No more, no less. Insulin resistance can be explained using the economy as an example. As insulin resistance develops, the same amount of insulin that previously lowered blood sugar into the normal range no longer works effectively. In other words, the pancreas used to spend one insulin dollar to bring the blood sugar down. When insulin resistance develops, this dollar is no longer enough. The pancreas must produce 10 insulin dollars to do the same job that had before only cost one. This is just like inflation, but it's called insulin resistance because the body appears to be resistant to insulin, requiring higher levels in order to have the same effect as before. In business, inflation is generally thought to be unhealthy for the economy. The same is true for insulin resistance in the body. People cannot feel insulin resistance. At first, from the outside, all appears well and the measured blood sugar level is still within normal range. Inside the body, however, the pancreas is working overtime, forced to produce many more insulin dollars than what is comfortable in order to maintain sugar levels within the normal range. Before long, the pancreas reaches its maximum ability to produce more money, and the fasting blood sugar levels become elevated. Elevated fasting blood sugar, what doctors call impaired fasting glucose, may be one of the first clues the body gives about having insulin resistance.